This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Why is Kato acting so weird? What has he got under his coat? Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Shadow Hearts. In the last episode, we left the town of Dalian and headed towards Shanghai, but unfortunately, Li Li was not completely taken out, even despite destroying that creature in town. And now she's preventing us from going anywhere. We're going around in circles. But anyway, we got to defeat her with the help of Sea Mother, Zhuzhen, Margaret, and everything else. Oh, yeah, and, uh, and uh, our friend Yuri got seasickness on the way there, but he's, he's over it now. He, he suffered from side character sickness. So. But anyway, if we uh, talk to Kato here, I mean, courier subordinate, we ask him, what's he saying? Because he's acting weird. Don't tell the boss. Yeah, we find out he's a lottery member. Surprising. So let's uh, get it. The 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 rare reward he he get is okay for newer players because of what it does. If you're an experienced player, probably not so much because of the there are some drawbacks to it as well. But let's see if we can win it. This one's a little bit difficult because of the how small the ring is. But I think we got this. Let's see if I got it. Yep, got it. Nice. And we win the iron clogs for this. Here's your prize. Yeah, he said, don't tell the boss, so we won't tell Kagoshima. What are you doing to tell the boss now here? All right, do you have anything else to say? Nope, okay. So what the iron clogs are, well, first of all, let's look, look them over really quick. Iron clogs. Black iron clogs worn by the hero of Herculean strength, Yu Huang Shan. They slow down your reaction time, but the ring indicator sweeps half as fast, too. So what it does is it reduces your agility by quite a bit. What that means is you get... Yeah, you can see our, whoops, I actually didn't mean to do that. It drops our agility to nine. Well, by Yuri, it's nine, so 15, which what that means is that you're easier to hit, you get less turns, but the ring uh, goes at half speed. So it's definitely a, you know, it's, yeah, you'll guarantee all your crits, but you probably won't get enough turns to utilize them. So I'm not a big fan of me personally using it, but I wanted to have it just to show the item in the first place so but yeah i'm not going to equip it but you can if you want to if you're having trouble with the game i mean i, I have trouble every once in a while but you know uh oh monsters but yeah so just that's something to think about but anyway here's the other new monster here so the uh white wolfling the uh, wolflings here they are light elementals i believe so let's fight these guys oh I've what a great start to the game last episode i had trouble i was messing up on the rings you know, maybe I do need the iron clogs. Who knows? But yeah, I just man took a break and I thought, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll. There we go. You know, I'll get, I'll get to it again. And then, uh, but uh, nope, had a yeah. She can hit him if she crits and everything like that. But man, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> like I said, the last episode was bad. Ooh, we gotta heal ourselves too. So let's uh, cure ourselves. Heal us all. Your, your healing is just so overpowered. Although, later on when we actually get a lot of HP, at that point we'll start eventually not completely curing ourselves. Yeah, see, as soon as I start failing with Yuri, this always happens in games where I do really well, and then that one time where I start messing up, I slowly stop I slowly stop doing better because I'm, now I'm afraid I'm going to keep making mistakes and all this other stuff. So. Yeah, see, now I'm just messing up. Oh, well. Yeah, if I was trying to go for a perfect, like, uh... Uh, oh yeah, we have the her weapon has the ability to possibly confuse someone, but it does, it happens so rarely that I don't even pay attention to it. I, it's not a function I take advantage of with her weapon. I was thinking, I was wondering if she'd do enough damage to kill him, and she did. So yay, save Sea Mother. So anyway, Marker gained a level. So yeah, too bad Alice is a little behind on experience because of a uh, um, when she was out for that a couple of battles. So she's a few levels behind, so. Huh, piece of cake. What are you, Leonardo? Hey, you're a, you're good, boy. This must be after Master... They must be after Zhuzhen, too. Please, boy, would you go and check? Yeah, we have to fight and save Zhuzhen, too. Sheesh, see, Mama. You sure know how to word people. Anyway, that old geezer won't be beaten so easily. Hey, he's got levels and everything. Master Zhuzhen is in the middle of the ceremony. He's extremely vulnerable right now. Oh yeah, yes. Want to be? All right, let's go. Well, uh, well, yeah, we could go. We could also save it as well. Go find Jujin right now. All right, I'll find Jujin. I don't need to save it, so because we're not fighting the boss yet. We're about to, but not quite. So, hey, dude. Antena, Antena. All right, what do we fight now? 
yeah, just more of them. More of these guys. Except they got to go first. Nice. Yeah, too bad their fireball spell takes forever to activate. Ah, yeah, they hurt so badly. I'm almost wondering if I should just heal. Or use this grenade. Yeah, I'll just use grenade. Ah, so close. Oh well, they'll still do a bunch of damage. Yeah, I can use some help here. You can use your help as you swap to your Japanese voice actors halfway through. Yeah, I should have done that last episode. I was just wanted to save my MP, but ah, oh, I also gained a level. Oh, she got the ability I wanted. Nice. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was going to get enough experience for her. So, yeah, blessed light that'll help a lot during the boss fight, which probably means I'll relegate Margaret to healer status for that encounter. All right, that should just about do it. Whoa. Here we go. Did you go Super Saiyan or something like that? Or, or Ultra Instinct or whatever they're doing right now? So this is an old fashioned exor exorcism pentagram? Whoa, I have absolutely no clue what's going on, but it's damn impressive. I love your This pentagram, it, it's incredible. Sorry to keep you waiting, people. Everything's ready now. Now, see, Mother, I'll need your help. We have to keep Lily's power in check. Now give me a shout when you're ready, kid. Master Zhu Jin, I shall assist you. All right, then whenever you're ready to fight the boss, uh, talk to Zhu Jin. So yeah, Zhu Jin is not available during this whole area. So let's go back. Actually, let's go back and... Oh. Yeah, all the random encounters here are just the monsters we just fought earlier, so don't worry about it. So let me go and save it really quick. Uh, do I want to use a tent? Probably don't need to, not really. Actually, technically, I probably don't even need to clean my MP out because, uh, um, well, uh, I want to not use too much MP with Alice because I'm going to put her on attack mode in this. Yeah, one of the few times I actually use Alice for attacking in this game because of her blessed light ability. Um, eh, we could, we could use heal. Why not? I always like saving the, the Terra leaves for something else but yeah in this boss fight we're gonna spoilers are gonna be doing a boss fight um alice will now be relegated to support slash caster while uh, margaret will actually be relegated to healer in this case because alice will do a lot more damage to lily than um, margaret's going to despite everything because her water abilities won't really work as well on uh, lily all right let's talk to kato again just to make sure um yeah of course uh, okay, so we want to make sure. Let me double check. I just double checking my how many um, talismans of luck I got. So I got nine. That should be pretty good. Yeah, nine should be fine. Because the boss has an instant death attack, unfortunately, so characters will die no matter what we do about that. Uh, also, make sure before you fight the boss, if you're really worried about it, I would give everyone rosewood bracelets. They prevent the uh, uh, they prevent the paralysis condition, which uh, Lily can do during the fight, so. All right, I think we're ready to go. Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, let's uh, talk to uh, see, see Mother. Ante, Ante, nah. All right, anything else around here? Nope, okay. Let's talk to, are you ready? Anytime. All right then, Mother, let's do this. Yes. Let's Antena, Antena! Lily, come before me! Hey, here she comes! Ah, uh, damn you, mortals! How dare you invoke that wretched chant? Die! We know you die for boss time against Lili herself. Uh, Lili has 500 HP, 500 MP. She's dark element. She drops the W Tiger West Tiger hair. She has 800 experience and 3,800 cash. She can paralyze us and do instant death on us. So let's go ahead and fuse. Uh, any character would do. I mean, since she's white, uh, light elemental, or since she's dark elemental, death in for probably won't be your best best time with this. So I like going with Raging Dragon. Raging Dragon is kind of my most common summon throughout the whole game just because his physical attack because very rarely do you f come across situations where physical attack is not as useful. 
you know, one of the few exceptions is the uh, the wind, uh, the earth earth el uh, creature we fought in the last battle. Uh, I already forgot its name already. The uh, uh, Yamaraja of Wind or whatever. So, uh, okay. Let's, uh, I mean, we could have... Actually, I'm probably what I'm going to do is I'm just going to defend with her so that way she's prepared for... Actually, I probably should move her to the back, too. I should have done that uh, since I'm not going to be attacking with her as much. All right, we, wa we want to do first, we want to cast Holy Edge on um, on Yuri there so his, his uh, abilities get a light element. And then we want to start casting Blessed Edge with uh, Alice every turn so she can get a decent amount of damage on her, so... Yeah, she's gonna cast abilities like Dark Messenger and stuff like that, so. Yeah, it's like, please don't. Ah, dang it! Knew that was gonna happen, but at least you got a turn in before. <sighs> yeah, Vortex Dark Messenger has a chance of uh, insta KOing someone, so. This is why you want a lot of Talismans of Lux, just in case this happens, so. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not much we can do. Well, okay, technically, you could get the Voodoo um, item. And that would prevent, uh, that would that would take the first hit, but you can just buy Talismans of Lux and do that too, so. Oh, I, oh, I hate when I do that. Ugh. Well, there's paralysis, but luckily we are, um, we got the item so she can't paralyze us. So. Right, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and heal with Margaret. That's her, that's her, uh, thing for this whole fight, so. Alright, let's try doing Blessed Edge again and not messing up this time. I keep trying to get perfect. And, ah, I was so close. Yeah, I hate messing up. Because, you know, like I said, you basically waste a turn, so. That's probably the only problem I have with the, uh, the, the Judgment Ring system is that in general. Oh, no. Please don't hit. Please don't actually hit her. Why, well, I mean, hit her, but don't actually activate. Thank you. Because <laughs> it doesn't auto, it doesn't automatically do insta KO. It's just one of the effects of it. No, that was a bad, bad call. That looks like I might have one more, one more bit in her. Yeah, I would rel. I mean, you can do this fight however you want, but yeah, I usually tend to relegate Margaret to uh, um, healing, healing uh, character in this fight. See much damage a uh, crit does with uh, Blessed Light. Nice. Ow. Yeah, it's always weird hearing this female voice with a or female character with a male voice, but we know why she's like that. Yeah. There we go. Not too bad, huh? Easy peasy, Gary Sneezy. Oh yeah, we got the White Tiger here, gains some experience, and everyone gains a level. Oh, and uh, Margaret gained a new ability. I accidentally pressed the button when it showed that off, so whoops. Oh well, sorry about that. Help me, the pain. Sea Mother. Oh, Sea Mother. I don't know why I said that with that. So. Uh oh, what now? Dehwa! You fiend! <laughs> this doll's just about served its purpose. How nice to finally meet you, Elias, Elliot, and Zhuzhen. Long time no see. So you're Dehua. You brought poor Lily back, didn't you? You were using her. That's right. Ah, Alice, you're more beautiful than I'd imagine. That's not creepy at all. Well, well, we finally meet the real tiny, eh? Except you're not nearly as cute. <laughs> Maybe he's a... <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm into that. No. Uh, so you're the abdominable harmonics, or are you? Very well. I'm sure you and the old man will make a lovely snack for the Shanghai crabs. Lili, I shall unleash all of your power. Hate everything. Devour them with your hate. <laughs> Yo! Uh oh. She got a she got a power boost. Zenk a Zenkai boost or whatever it's called. You, you're not gonna eat, get away with this. I thought that said eat away with this for a second. Wait, Lily, I promise you I'll deliver you to eternal rest. For boss, 
version number two of Lily. Now Lily has uh, 720 HP, 600 MP. She's still Dark Elemental, drops a the B Tortoise Fang. She has 1,000 experience and 3950. However, she no longer can insta-kill us. She can't paralyze us, but unfortunately now she gets the ability to hit all our party members with, uh, with a spell. So I'll make our healing a bit more difficult. Uh, but using Raging Tiger, I have an alternate form of healing, and Alice can still heal despite everything. So, and yeah, look at her; she turned into like some weird, weird squid thingy. Yeah, we still want to um, still want to do uh, Holy Edge on. Uh, want to still do Holy Edge on uh, Fury? Ow! Yeah, it does a lot of damage on that. So we want to do that and blessed. And obviously have Margaret heal. Hopefully I bought enough Terror Leaves. Like I said, we do have Alice and everything. I mean, I, I can put Alice back to healing if it really comes down to it. So. Nah. Yeah, not bad damage. Alright, let's uh, yeah, heal uh, Yuri. That was a nice chunk of damage. Yeah, and you don't auto-heal in between fights, by the way, so... Yeah, it's also another bad thing, so... I may have to actually heal... Uh-oh. Hate Storm, this is, the, this is the attack that hits everyone, so... Whew. Close. Um... I'm going to risk it and have just Margaret heal, so... Nice. Get that damage in there, man. Sometimes it's better to have a good offense, you know? Ah, dang it. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Luckily, the third attack doesn't do as much damage, so it's not too big of a deal, but still. Yeah, you have to be careful with her attack because it is Dark Elemental, which means Alice gets hurt more from that than... than uh... Oh, good thing I healed her. Yeesh. All right, let's keep casting Blessed Light. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to use a... Uh... uh use a mana leaf on her. I might have Kazuki not attack during a turn just to heal her and have uh, Margaret use a mana leaf on her. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and since I hardly use uh, healing on anyway with this guy. Ah, oh well. I, I, you know, I'd probably say Raging Tiger is probably one of the better, like, summons in the whole game, like in the early game anyway. Yeah, let's get some mana going on here. That hate storm again. Might have to do another round of double healing. Too bad I don't have an auto, like a cure all ability. No, and then I'm gonna have to use a Actually, no, I could probably just have Margaret just heal again. It's probably fine. But yeah, I'll probably have to use a Pure Seed here pretty soon if I can't get the rest of that damage out of the way, so. There we go. Yeah, I gotta heal you. You're, you're down for a bit. Heal! Heal us all! What are you gonna do? Hit attack? Right. Yeah, I definitely have to heal you. Hey, that works, man. As long as I don't miss an attack. There we go. We got her. Nice. <laughs> we beat her even before I had to use a pure seed. So as long as you know what you're doing, man. Yeah, that can be a dangerous fight. Surprised it went after just Yuri and Alice. Never went after Margaret, actually. Anyway, yep. Good to. Get the dark element from her. All right, Lily, you've been exercised. Ha! Take that, Dehua. Thank you. Grr, not bad, not bad. It's your turn next. See, yeah, everyone's like gun gang up on. <laughs> Dang it! Why do all villains get to teleport and we never do? Dang it! Oh, whoa, Sea Mother. See, mother. Must have taken a lot out of her. 
You're really something, Sea Mother. You gave every last ounce of strength you had to save her. It's been a long time since I've seen such fine magic. You're just being nice to her. Rest in peace, see good Sea Mother. Oh, she's dead. Yeah, she died. Spirits in the heavens. Spirits in the heavens. Our beloved magic user will be coming under your care. Our wonderful, wonderful magic user. Please be good to her. Yeah, spirits, be good to her for us, won't you? See ya, see mama. <laughs> A fine send off. See mother would be most pleased. It's finally over, right? The monsters are gone. Yes, everything's all right now. Let's get this thing moving. Full speed ahead, please. You do know the town just lost their adept, right? Like, that's kind of a big deal. I mean, how are they going to survive without... That world has monsters and stuff. Man, well, man. Right. What? What in God's name did I bear witness to tonight? Aren't you aware of adepts and all that other thing? Or did you just now finally see it and not for just reports? Urgh, I failed again. Feng Shan, Dalian, and yet again on this rotten boat. I must not underestimate the boy's power. And now that Zhu Zhen has joined the girl, time to take a step back and conjure up a plan. What the? Uh, I forgot what voice to give this guy. Uh, crap. You called, Master Doiwa? Ah, Wookie, so glad you could make it here from Kowloon. I did not wish to tear you away from Hong Kong, but I cannot afford not to call you. Do not worry, not much is going on in Hong Kong, and to tell the truth, I was growing a little bored. Indeed, you've already made puppets of the newly appointed French parliamentary officials. Why is France important in all this? Excellent. Damn the foreign superpowers. They believe this country is theirs for the taking. Yeah, that's why a lot of Chinese people have a very big butt up their, uh, bug up their butt about just working with other p places because of, like, basically they've been, I mean, not to defend what they've been doing, but they've, like, if you read the history of China, they've been kind of, like, people have been trying to take them over and control them for, like, centuries. And now recently they've been able to control them, uh, take control, although... You know, I'm not going to go into detail, but let's just say it's not maybe that much better. So, but you could tell history-wise why they have a bug up their butt. But anyway. Ha, huh, I'll never let it happen as long as I'm here. They won't lay a finger on Shanghai. Master, if I may be so bold, are you experiencing difficulties with the Demon's Gate invocation? I just noticed the guy has chains, or like chain links or whatever in his earrings. As earrings. Yes, well, as you can see, the spirit machine of Kuhai Tower is complete and ready to go. But the girl, the key, is still running loose. An unwelcome guest blocks my way. An unwelcome guest? Absolute sage Zhu Zhen. <laughs> Master Zhu Zhen? I never imagined he still lived. Well, he does. The bastard, he's been standing my way ever since we were in training together. My blue dragon trap only resulted in killing an old hag. Ugh. Pathetic, I tell you. Yeah, that killed, uh, he was the one who killed us, um, Sea Mother. Not to worry, Master Dehua. I shall deliver the girl to you immediately along with the old man's head. <laughs> good, good. You've always been my best student. A word of warning, though. Do not underestimate them. One of them is a monster with the power of fusion, ha! Huh? Sorry. Can't help myself. Fusion? The Japanese man. He can't be still alive. What Japanese man are you talking about? I mean, Yuri's part Japanese, I think. I think he's like half Japanese or something like that. Uh, no, this one is different. He's still young, though there is no doubt he's a monster. Two Yamarajas have fallen to him thus far. Gads. <laughs> if what you say is true, Master, this should be interesting. I, Wuge, Kowloon, shall not fail you. Then I'll wait for the good news. Show that grinning bastard Roger Bacon what we're capable of. Now, Wuge, go! Yes, Master. 
You know, it's like we got a hired assassin on our butts. So now it's finally our way to Shanghai, and Shanghai will finally unlock uh, a, a, a chance to explore, but we got one major flashback to do before we do that, though. So let's head on to uh, Hu Huan and see what, uh, yeah, we can go back to Asia, but anyway, yeah, Huan, so. 15 years ago, 1889, Shanghai. <sighs> I really made a mess of this, didn't I? Man, even uh, Zhu Jin was old even 15 years ago. <laughs> what a surprise, Master Zhu Jin. An adept to the highest rank, Fallon. <laughs> you didn't think we'd let you get away, did you? A little fly like you always flitting about, causing trouble for Master Dehua. No, sir. You know what happens to flies, old man? They get squashed. Uh-oh, he's still got energy. Bad times for them, maybe. No, or not. <laughs> You're a fine bunch, attaching yourselves to the infamous Dehua and calling him Master. If you wanted a Master, you'd have been better off to claim loyalty to one of those mangy street dogs. Hmm, scum. After that torture session, it's amazing you have any energy left to oppose the Master's teachings. And of course, a magic like you, maggot like you can't really expect it to comprehend the greatness of Master Dehua. Greatness? Greatness, you say? That's a good one. <laughs> That's a real side splitter. I think we're gonna die laughing. Enough! Or enough! Shut up, you maggot, Lord Wuge! Let's kill him and be done with it! Still, there's one thing I do not understand. Why do you oppose the Demon's Gate invocation? Our continent is being hacked to pieces. Lacking military might, there's one path to salvation. The Demon's Gate invocation. If we can destroy Japan, we shall send a clear and firm message to the West. Do you know of any other way to maintain peace on this continent? Well, I mean, there's like a billion people in Japan by this point or someone, or China, so, you know, where are the numbers, right? Mm. I have no use for such dri drivel. Destroy Japan, a warning shot to the west, you're a fool. That's not what the Demon's Gate invocation is about. Sure, like he says, it might be easy to blast Japan out of the water, but just one misstep. And you could wind up blowing the entire world into oblivion. Shut up! As if you would know! I mean, isn't he a high-level adept, though? Bah, I could stand here all day explaining it to you. You'll never understand. Alas, it seems our discussion has now come to an end. Allow us to aid you on your trip to hell. Hold on right there. Mm -hmm. What the? We see that. Wait, is that uh, Yuri's dad? Who are you? This ain't no show, man. Get out of here before you get hurt. It seems the streets of Shanghai have become considerably more dangerous than I remember them. You're Japanese, aren't you? But out, buddy, or I can't guarantee you'll get out of this alive. Wait, these people have nothing to do with this. Sir, gentlemen from Japan, please be on your way. There's no sense in getting hurt, too. You getting hurt, too? He is right. It'd be wise not to meddle in the things that don't concern you. No good will come out of opposing us. I'm sorry, but I've heard you were in league with Dehua. I simply cannot ignore you. Who are you? That is of little importance to those who are about to die. <laughs> what an amusing joke. All right, fool. We'll see who's about to die. Fool? I love I just, I just love the term fool. I don't know why we're insulting someone. So. Anyway, boss time as against Wu Hei and his uh, his little clones. We're playing as... As soon as it shows up here. Got to show off. We're playing as uh, Colonel Hyuga, Yuri's dad. So Yuri's dad has like really high agility. Look at those stats. 532 HP, 350 MP, 71 SP. And he can do fusion. He can fuse into Cernabog, the greater spirit of hell. Um, he also has a ton of items. Okay, not a ton of items. I was just kidding. But he has an item called the Seventh Key, which maxes seven sweeps of indicators with successful actions, which is very nice. And he has pure extracts. Their extract fully restores your HP. Mana extract fully restores MP and fully restores your SP. You cannot... Okay, I think it's technically possible to lose fights, but it's, like, really, really hard to do because Colonel Hyuga has, like, really high agility, which means he's almost hard to, like, hurt. So let's show off his attack pattern just to show it off. So, Yeah, see how his attack pattern is very close to Yuri's? 
or I'm uh, sorry, pattern. I meant uh, his uh, ring is similar to that. All right, let's uh, let's show fusion, ha! Huh? And yeah, you already got another turn. Man, look how uh, confident uh, Hugo is. He turns into Jernabog with like not screaming or or flailing around. He just does it like he's been like a, a lost lover or something like that. But anyway, he has the ability of Spirit Pollution, which takes away MP. He has Magic Release, which releases all or raises all your special attacks by five uh, for five turns by 18 percent. Well, 15 or 18 if you uh, hit it right. And he's got Revelation, which attacks all enemies with Living Deadly Darkness. So let's show off Spirit Pollution, even though I don't need it. Like I said, we can just mess with this fight. Yeah, this is when we start getting... He has high level magic, which means we have to hit the the, the magic ring excess multiple times in a row uh, to get guaranteed success. So it's not just two hits in this case. We didn't need the magic. All right, we can also show off... What the? What, he turned into Mr. Fantastic here? Or Elastigirl, or whoever you refers to, so. All right, let's uh, show off his attack banner. Yeah, we killed him before even finishing up our attack, so. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and just use the seven key. Why not, while we're here? Oh, well, okay, I did get to show it off. What it does is it keeps so when it says maximum rotations, it means you keep doing it over and over and over again. Uh, so you get multiple attacks. So I kind of wasted that ability. So sorry about that. Um, I'll show it off when I do the third key and we'll get seven keys later on. So I should just get, did the guaranteed version of the hit just to show off how the seventh key actually works. Cause yeah, you can do it five times. So you go hit, 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 hit. So you get multiple attacks. It's crazy good. But anyway, let's show off revelation. Yeah, we summoned the Sephiroth, just like we did with Roger Bacon did the Yuri way back. But unfortunately, yeah, he's uh, he uh, gets healed. Uh, oh well. Yeah, we can't even be hurt by this guy. So, but yeah, I want to show off what it did. So for those who've forgotten when Roger Bacon did this, so okay, now let's just attack him. So. Yeah, I wish I had messed up that seven seal thing, but oh well. That's why I wanted to get that third key, or seventh key, as key. That's why I wanted to get that third key, so I could save it for a boss encounter that I'm worried about, so. I thought about using it on Lili, but I was like, nah, I'm fine. Yeah, 40th level, man. Crazy. I always like games where you get to play as another character temporarily, like a, a, a former hero, uh, like in Final Fantasy VII, or something like that, just to show off like their, either their power, or maybe a, a, a unique scene, or, or just a, can a chance to get, like, go power crazy like you're just so high above that monster you just get to wreck him with no problem you know stuff like that what what are you a demon i've changed my mind i will not kill you run back to your master and tell him this a man has appeared who is coming for you until he arrives live out your remaining days in fear you you'll work out those words and of course like all villains he just teleports away goodbye uh, i forgot Oh, are you all right, old sir? Uh, I'll be all right. <laughs> Not to sound ungrateful for your help, but I don't exactly consider myself so old yet. Ugh. You look old still, though. I'm Zhang Heijian, and this is Colonel Ben Huga. I thank you for coming to my rescue, but my name is Zhu Zhen. I'm an adept. It would appear so. Exactly what sort of person are you? The fusion technique I heard about is a long time ago, but I never expected to see it myself. <laughs> How amusing to hear that fiend call you a demon. Talk about the pot in the kettle. Please, Zhu Zhen, relax. Your wounds may be worse than you think. Damn, if I weren't in such a state, I'd have made short work of those bastards. Ugh, ow. <laughs> it's clear your injuries haven't affected that mouth of yours. The shop I run is just down the way. Come with us and I'll treat your wounds. There's no need for that. I'm feeling much better already. Much better. Ouch. Ow. Huh. Come, Master Zhujin. I'll carry you there. Like a little babe. And that was how I first met the man. 
And the next thing I knew, he was carrying me piggyback, and I could feel my face burning red. Uh, he was an incredible man, and handsome to boot. So much so, he almost had me swooning. <laughs> man, that, uh, apparently Colonel uh, Yuri's dad was a ladies and man's man, apparently. Goodness, he really was that strong? He must have been amazing. And he had fusion powers, just like... You, you don't think he could be Yuri's... You guessed it, you're not going to find too many people in this world who can wield fusion. But I just can't make up my mind to tell the kid, you know. I guess I'm too much of a coward. I think he deserves to know about, like, what his dad did, didn't he? And then, and then what happened to Colonel Hugo after that? Dun, dun, dun. It's hard to believe that was 15 years ago. Time sure does fly. The city's completely changed, too. I feel like I've been left behind to grow old and decrepit. Shu Jin. What are you saying? You're still plenty young. Huh. <laughs> it's nice of you to say that. You're a real sweet girl. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. It's like the end of a badly cartoon where everyone just start, starts laughing at the very end. Oh, that's why he didn't hear us out like a light. Yuri, you sure has been sleeping for a long time. And here we are in Shanghai and everything. <laughs> He's probably sleeping off the effect of seasickness. Everyone's got their weaknesses. Well, then I guess maybe I'll be going out for a while. After all these years, I feel like wandering around is a, a, a bit... Maybe stopping by an old friend's place. Teehee, alright. It's just funny to say the word teehee instead of actually laughing sometimes. I don't expect to be out all that late. I wonder where Margaret's at. Probably, probably doing spy thingies. Well, anyway, yeah, we get to play as Zhu Jin for a short bit of time. So... Little Zhu Jin find that in Shanghai, the city he left so long ago and met uh, met the ally in Hyuga. And what about Yuri and Alice? What are they up to? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Shadow Hearts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.